Uh, but we continue. If you're just joining us, it's three minutes past seven. You're watching 13 News extended coverage on WREX and WREX.com of a tornado warning for Winnebago, Boone, McHenry, and Northern DeKalb County. Uh, tornadoes, uh, while they may not have been sighted, we are getting uh, numerous reports of damage. So if you're in the path of this storm, uh, you need to take the life-saving precautions of being indoors. Here's a tornado warning. Uh, severe thunderstorm warning means that you're going to get wind in excess of 60 miles per hour, quarter-sized hail, and a tornado warning means that a tornado has been spotted or a, by a person or on radar. Uh, you need to seek shelter in the basement away from windows until this passes. This is the whole complex of severe thunderstorms as they have moved through the area this afternoon, started off into parts of eastern Iowa. The good news is, as this thing moves through, we're not going to see anything on the back side. We're going to see it actually improve. A couple of your storm photos that we've gotten so far from Erica Coletta. She gets nearly a one inch in diameter hail, so very, very large hail coming out of these storms early on. We just had a new velocity scan in here within the last couple seconds. Looks like right over the uh, clock tower. Let's zoom into that. All right, let's take a closer look. Yes, go I got ahead, some Cindy. more uh, uh, reports here. Oh Most of the reports goodness. that we're getting from our newsroom is in the Freeport, the Stevenson County area. But we also have um, an alert too from the fire department. It's headed out to uh, West Auburn Street. They're saying that there's power lines over the roadways and they're mm -hmm. arcing. Okay. So we, we don't need anybody going out right now. No, everybody needs to stay indoors. You need, you need to be indoors until this passes. Belvedere. Time to get down. Yeah, Belvedere, uh, that's the rotation right there. It's, uh, I would say, near Business 20 and Olson Road, um, heading eastbound. Um, so look out, Belvedere, especially the north side of town, but we really can't rule it out anywhere along this line that we're going to have uh, significant uh, reports. Uh, let's Another see. Spot right up there. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a uh, email into right now that uh, several funnels in uh, it's south of Caledonia, just north of Riverside. I'm going to relay this to the National Weather Service. Um, let's get that in there. Okay. Um, and weather at WREX.com. Uh, Jay Shockley, uh, Pea Size Hill, Loves Park. Um, so uh, we're looking for that as well. Uh, I've got a shot here. I'll try to get this on the air as soon as we can. Uh, it's exactly what Aaron Brackett uh, was showing us a video. And we hope to get this on the air. We're going to turn this around as quickly as we can uh, because this is a s serious situation. Aaron, what new do you have? Uh, let's take a look at this. I'm going to expand it back. We're just going to go for a quick overall view. Obviously, the worst of the weather, we're moving into Boone County right now into Southern Rock County. And uh, we're going to go ahead and put... Uh, we're going to put the uh, scope on here to tell wind direction and you can tell just to the uh, southeast of Beloit uh, toward the northern side of Boone County uh, right now. You guys are under the gun. You can see a little couplet of rotation there. Also we were noting just to the uh, uh, just to the west of Belvedere another couplet near the clock tower area heading right along uh, US 20 and uh, just to the north of I-90. That's where there's rotation right in the middle of Boone County though. You see the green next to the red uh, regardless of any spin-ups, there will be high wind, damaging wind on the ground. Uh, that's what's been causing power outages. Once again, numerous reports of power outages where these storms have already been. And uh, we continue to watch this as it tracks very quickly off toward the east. So once again, possible uh, rotation to the north of Boone County. And then yet again, just to the west of Belvedere near the I-90-39 uh, split right there. And uh, we'll go ahead and put this into motion for you. I, th I think um, right now, Aaron, we can give the all clear for Rockford. Mm -hmm. I uh, would. And that, that in, you know, when you're a television meteorologist, it's just as important to give the first warning as it all is to give the all clear. And so right now at 707, we dealt with a severe thunderstorm and potential tornadoes, uh, certainly damage uh, that is going to be significant. Uh, into the Rockford area, but now we can give the all clear for the city of Rockford. Uh, the appears the rotation is going to continue to move to the east fairly rapidly. We still have tornado warnings for eastern uh, Winnebago County. Uh, Aaron, if you can stop this and then let's let's throw on the warnings and get the uh, the times on these. Uh, Boone County until 7:15, so you've got another what seven eight minutes. Also, DeKalb County, same time frame. Yep, and then the new warning goes for uh, eastern Boone County till 745 and then uh, McHenry County until 745. We can give the all clear now for Rockford. 
Um, but the northern portion of Winnebago County, still kind of that calm ahead, right there south of Beloit, we could still see a spin up of a possible tornado. Just a recent, uh, actually, a storm report came in uh, near State Street and Fairview. Uh, near the around uh, Westchester Road, uh, hail over the size of an inch in diameter. So they had quarter size or plus size, half dollar size hail uh, near that intersection near State and Fairview. Uh, and that's inch size hail. Yes. Wow, large hail here. Um, the National Weather Service. Oh, we're looking at uh, what I've done now is just turned on Milwaukee just to check one radar site uh, at a time for this northern spin up because this radar is is closest to this northern Boone County rotation. And yeah, we're still seeing some rotation there, but I'll go ahead and turn all these back on one uh, once again here. Yeah, one of the things that Live Exactra gives us the opportunity to do is look at a storm from three different perspectives. We use a live radar from Milwaukee, from Chicago, and also out of the Quad Cities. So looking at all different sides of the storm gives you a different perspective of where you can get damage. And uh, can you turn off your scope for just a second, Aaron. Uh, look at that. Wow. You look, yeah, right in here, a northern Boone County, that right there is a very, very compact um, extremely compact uh, bow echo. Just to the near Hunter Road and 76, that intersection where you're seeing the lesser reflectivities, the brighter yellows and oranges next to those pinks and reds. That's where uh, a likely location for a spin up would be all the way down to near, it uh, looks like 173 and uh, toward Candlewick Lake, 173 and uh, Illinois 76. Hey Aaron, Anywhere I'm sorry to interrupt you at this moment, ahead. but we just got uh, from an amateur radio uh, severe weather spotter, Eric. Uh, I talked to him on the phone earlier. Just yeah. spotted a funnel cloud near I-90 and East State Street. He's now getting reports of significant wind damage near in McChesney Park and near the Roscoe area. Uh, trees are down. Uh, and he's getting all this information from his fellow ham, his hand radio uh, operators that he is also in contact with. This is one of the great things that we have is uh, spotters who are out there that give us these reports in real time because well, we know that real time reports uh, that we're able to relay to you give you a sense of urgency so you're going to act and not be in harm's way. Uh, Rebecca Clough coming in from the newsroom. Uh, we've got uh, see pea-sized hail at uh, the Great Oaks Apartments uh, in southeast Rockford. And you're going to see some hail with this uh, new scan coming in. Uh, oh. And that moved up to the north. There it is. Uh, look out if you're up toward uh, Sharon, Wisconsin. This is headed in your direction. Uh, Let's go ahead and look further along this just to make sure here. Whoops. We go back to our home setting here. Zoom back in. There's a new... Uh, uh, Let me take the scope off. First. Yeah, there's a new Doppler scan uh, too. Um, but we continue to follow this. So if you're just joining us at 711 here on 13 News, we continue to cover severe weather that has done significant damage across parts of the metro area. Uh, initially, we had reports to the uh, west of Pecatonica of possible tornado. Our meteorologist, Aaron Brackett, who is here in the studio live, was out chasing the storm and actually uh, observed some of the significant uh, significance of this storm as it moved just south of the town of Winnebago. There you go. There we go. That's where there's going to be some trouble right here. Northern Boone County, definitely uh, southern, extreme south, uh, eastern Rock County and moving into Walworth County right now. That's what we're seeing. Uh, once again, I'll explain this for you real quick. What we've done is we're pulling here from the radar in Chicago. You see the reds right here near Clinton. These are radar signatures that are actually moving away from the radar. As I mouse over to Beloit and uh, Rockton right now, these green readings are going toward the radar. Right in the center of my scope right here, this is where they kind of collide. And if you think about this in your mind, red away, green towards Chicago, that's where that rotation is. The counterclockwise rotation is the way that tornadoes and severe super uh, storms, that's the way they rotate. And where you see the green meeting the red actually all the way up and there's a stronger couplet here too near the Janesville area, uh, near our banner, that's where you do have those tornadic spin-ups. And the thing that's concerning about uh, this situation is this is in a part of the storm that's also covered by rain. Uh, a lot of times when we see very strong storms, they'll be near the southwest corner of the storm. Well, this one right along the front of the storm near that gust front, actually now extending all the way just to the extreme uh, northwest of Marengo. We're seeing a lot of rotation at the front of this, uh, this system here. So 
Once again, uh, rain wrapped tornadoes continue to be possible. We're going to go back to the warnings view right now. So Boone County still under a tornado warning. Uh, you know what? Even if you're in southern Rock County, extreme south uh, eastern Rock County, that's where you need to be uh, on the lookout too for some of these spin ups as we were seeing uh, rotation there. Now, uh, you are under a severe thunderstorm warning right now. I'm going to go ahead and put that up for you graphically as we get this new radar scan in here. Rock County, severe thunderstorm warning till 745. I want you to take cover right now. We just showed you rotation in the storm uh, toward the south end of the county, also into Walworth County, extreme southwestern Walworth County. And of course, uh, McHenry County, still a tornado warning until 745. You got another 30 minutes on this one, as well as Boone County, about to expire. But still, if you're in northern Boone County, eastern Boone County, uh, it's a good idea to take some shelter right now as we're noticing quite a bit of rotation uh, Eric, on this. Eric, can you do me one quick favor? Can you go into the Weather Service chat room into Milwaukee, see if they're going to put out a warning for uh, Walworth County? It appears that Walworth County may need a, uh, a tornado warning at some point.